the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video roster form roster form and uh, set builder form set builder form now these are two ways of presenting uh, the sets let us uh, see how we can present the set uh, through these uh, two methods now when you say set a is consisting of uh, the single digit odd numbers the single digit odd numbers are 1 3 5 7 and 9 so let us form the set uh, 1 3 uh, 5 uh, 7 and 9 well as indicated uh, from time to time you have to explain to the child that uh, the curly bracket comes before the set uh, and then the curly bracket is closing uh, the set uh, and then it should be placed uh, after the last element of the set in the roster form all the elements are presented like this uh, and then you put a comma in between uh, 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7 and comma 9 and then you close uh, with the curly parenthesis so this way of presenting the set uh, is called as a roster form so most of the sets uh, are presented like this uh, let us uh, take the same set uh, in the set builder form and see how it is uh, presented in the set builder form some property of the elements of the set uh, is stated so let us say a now in the set builder form usually we just mention one element right one element and that element uh, we just call x and after x uh, we put a vertical bar and then say x and then give an attribute to the x so here we say x is a single digit digit or number or number so what we have done here we have given the description for the elements of the set earlier in the roster form we mentioned the entire set with the commas in between the elements but in the set builder form we have not done that we have just mentioned x x is a parameter and then we have given a description for x as it is a single digit or number so whenever the set builder form is presented the child must look for the attributes of that value so this is also called as the descriptive method so roster form is not descriptive it is presenting the full form whereas in the set builder form it is a descriptive method because it is giving a description of the elements of the set which is stated well the child will be able to understand the difference between these two in the higher level mathematics we generally see the sets presented in the set builder form whereas in the lower level classes it is usually presented in the roster form